doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor. Um, thank you so much, and um, I'll give you practical examples of um, that difficult question um, that was raised in the uh, previous in the previous um, uh, panel. Um, that about the two questions on both, we are right. We have the projects, what are the assets and the, uh, the, the flows of funds? We have the assets and the flows of funds, what are the projects? So this is a match making the society and capacity development. And the story goes um, as such. Directly after the uh, announcement of the GFANS, the preparation for COP27 was underway, I was asked to uh, coordinate the work of uh, the non state actors as climate champion. And this is the role that I've been doing with Nigel Topic and then with Razan Mubarak of the UE. And uh, our job is to be facilitators and to try to find solutions and not to brag about the gaps. So the, the practical answer to that, I had a discussion with Mark Carney with his famous piece on the uh, country platforms with six prerequisites for finance and the promise of the G banks of $130 trillion to flow to the developing economies and emerging markets. And he put back in terms stability, uh, financial <coughs> development, the financial markets. And um, sorry, Mohammed, because you heard part of that yesterday, but I'm repeating it. For the rest of the audience is specific African. And then uh, he went into the issues related to change rate volatility and how to um, deal with that. He went as well into issues related to business environment and matters related to um, um, uh, rule of law governance. And then by line, bank and investor approaches. And actually, first time we heard about this serious issue of the uh, bank and investor approaches, this was around the same time we met. In 2010, when Korea was hosting G20. So it's a whole question, not just for uh, Africa, but for the rest of the world. Don't take offense on that. I said that as an African, I was a, a minister of investment uh, for Egypt for many years. I'm proud that my record has, hasn't been broken to attract the uh, FDI of 9.9% of GDP. In the case of Egypt, if you could keep doing that. This is more than $45 billion of net So I know a bit about issues related to business and bond, but definitely just to be fair to my fellow ministers in Egypt now, the global and regional environment is not really as good and benign as it used to be. Always put that issue of politics, political, economic dynamics in, um, in consideration. But that could come out how this. I said, well, this is a perfect list, uh, my good friend Mark, in the sense of the land. Why don't we go? By pipeline of bank and projects, and that can lead us to the reforms. And we reform as we go. And we have the example that, for instance, from Egypt in Benda, this is one of the biggest solar farms in the world, competing with any other projects in Africa today, with um, um, uh, projects in Kenya. Uh, there was an announcement of, uh, uh, of one in, um, in uh, Ethiopia just here, uh, yesterday, Morocco is being the, the was of that. And here the model is simple. You have a serious project with potential finance, but then the business environment may not be perfect. But you go to the ministers and tell them, well, I have the money, I have the assets. And then we have the incentives. If you start to move on to three, you'll be, you'll be getting part of these billions and trillions of assets flowing into your country. So the minister with his government will start to negotiate these tough areas of tariff reforms, of state agreements dealing with some sectoral challenges. But if you go and together the national government, yeah, pave the road for me, and then we will consider in that um, uh, high competition kind of environment that we may consider investing for you. They may not say, well, thank you so much, we need to survive in our business. These reforms that you are asking us to do are very much tough and controversial. But here is basically reform as we go. Did that work only for Egypt? It worked for a pipeline of not just bankable because the climate action agenda is full of debt, and we are overwhelmed by debt. What we need is the proper mix of energy. Perhaps energy can flow in as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah, proper mix of energy between debt instruments and private equity with support of public-private partnerships. So this has been a model supported by private sector investors. 
We mark it up to the development banks behind it, with the government of Egypt doing the work. But this is the ultimate, perhaps, kind of partnership that we did in building what I encourage you, please, to read the assets to flows um, report. It's available. Mohammed, in one minute, we are you not be accused of tailoring the reforms to one entity? No, we do that again. This is a competitive practice. And actually, the very project in the uh, solar uh, plants of Egypt is not just for the big uh, players and the big conglomerates. You have medium sized enterprises, you have mega projects of investors. And I'd like to encourage you, please, read the pipeline of investment projects in the case of Africa. And many of the project managers, project owners are with us here today. And this is basically for those who say that we don't have banker and investor approaches, we have 408 confirmation that you are wrong. There are bankable investor approaches in different stages of development ready for your engagement in the field. A couple of days ago, we were in an African meeting, President Trump to take, uh, took the stage. And he demonstrated you were in that meeting when he started to list opportunities country by country, project by project. I'm not happy and proud that many of these projects are already in our pipeline. Simple stuff, don't make the perfect anymore. Do be practical, and the air should need to borrow something from the moonshot. Uh, from the moonshot by having a timeline, specific targets, but more important, specific team to deliver not to be generic and not to be extra in and the, 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 the time that you are after in order to achieve these targets. You need to have this specific target within a manageable time and specifically to be accountable for. Good luck in implementing the assets of those. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.